I get asked a lot about trial, how trials work, how they go, what do I like about them, what do I not like about them, all kinds of questions about trials. And so I figured I would do a video series on the different aspects of a criminal trial, the different stages of a criminal trial. I figured I would break this up into several videos because I'd want to go into a, at least a little bit of detail on each stage, what it is, what it means, what are some of the things to watch out for during them. So this is going to be the first video of that series. And in this video, let's just do an overview of the 10 different stages of a criminal trial. So stick around and let's talk about it. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you're having a great week and gearing up for another good weekend. As I said on the intro, this week we're going to do our intro into a new video series of the different stages of a criminal jury trial. This is video one. This is the first video. We're just going to kind of list all of the 10 stages, or at least when I think of how it breaks up, the 10 stages of a criminal jury trial. And then in future videos, we'll break down each of those stages in a little bit more detail. Now, as always, as a reminder, this year I'm really trying to grow not only this channel, but my Twitch stream. So please, if you could, like this video. It's that little thumbs up icon down there at the bottom. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But then more importantly, on Sundays, Sundays at 745 over on Twitch, you'll see the website link in the video description below. Go over to Twitch and join me on my live stream. Each week I play some type of video game, but more importantly, I have conversations about the law, life, what you've done this week, something that we should celebrate as a group, and just a good time. So please swing by, hang out, throw me a follow over there because it really, really helps. All right, so introduction. What are, in my opinion, the 10 different distinct stages of a criminal trial? Well, they go something like this. Stage number one. Stage number one is the pretrial motions. And sometimes this is linked up into one day, sometimes it's several days. But stage number one is pretrial motions and hearings. Stage number two is jury selection, sometimes known as voir dire. Jury selection of voir dire is the second stage. Stage number three, opening statements, where both sides get to tell the jury what they feel the evidence is about to show them. Stage four is the government case in chief. That is where the government puts on all of their witnesses and everything that that, that has to do. Stage five would be the defendant's case in chief, where the defendant calls witnesses and puts forth evidence and that sort of thing. Stage six would be the government's rebuttal case. Any additional witnesses that the government would like to call in order to rebut something specific that the defendant said. Stage seven would be the jury charge conference, a, a kind of stage of the proceedings that really gets overlooked, does not get talked about a lot, but is incredibly, incredibly important. Stage eight, closing arguments, where the lawyers summarize everything that the jury has seen and or heard over the course of the trial. Stage nine, deliberations and verdict where the jury retires into the jury room. They talk about what they've seen and they come to a decision or multiple decisions, depending on the case and stage 10 sentencing, if it's necessary. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, but there's to the extent that the person is convicted, then it moves on to a sentencing phase, which is completely separate from the guilt innocent phase of the trial. So in my mind, when I break down the different stages of a criminal trial, those are the 10 stages that in my mind are just distinct and worth discussing. Now, kind of like always, like all of my videos, I tell you that I could go into so much more detail about not only this, but each individual stage. I could, I could speak for an hour on I mean, We could have a good conversation for an hour about that specific stage. But that's not really my intent. It's not to do a deep dive, a deep, deep dive on any one specific stage. It's more to give an overview because as I've been practicing and I talk to people, specifically non-lawyers about trial, 
um, I get questions that that really show that there's this mystique, there's this mystery that revolves around trials. I mean, we get all of our information basically from what we see on TV, on movies, um, or in the rare instance that we've had a friend or a family member or maybe even ourselves that have gone through a trial or seen a trial in person, then we have a little bit more insight into how it works. But even then, it's kind of this weird, mysterious, crazy thing, which in my mind is, is kind of bizarre because trials in, in 99% of, of the cases are open to the public. Our, our system is designed to be open to where the public can at any point go and observe a trial. So I wanted to do these videos. I wanted to shed some light on exactly how this process works because I think it's important information for everybody to have, to know exactly how this system works and what are the intricacies of it. So I look forward to kind of going into each one of these stages as the weeks go on. As always, if you have a specific question about this or anything else that I've said, then the best way for you to get that answer is to swing by my Twitch stream on Sundays and ask it. I'm happy to answer any questions that I get over there. Otherwise, leave a comment, shoot me an email, give me a call, and I'm always happy to answer whatever questions I've had. So look forward to seeing you on Sunday. I look forward to seeing you next Friday. But until I do, I hope everybody out there remembers to be good and stay on the right side of the bars.